This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is primary ciliary dyskinesia also known as? Answer, it's also known as cartagenous syndrome. Question, what type of inheritance pattern is primary ciliary dyskinesia? Answer, it's an autosomal recessive disorder. Question, what is the underlying cause of primary ciliary dyskinesia? Answer, the underlying cause is a dynein arm defect that leads to immodile cilia, resulting in dysfunctional ciliated epithelia. Question, what are some of the developmental abnormalities associated with primary ciliary dyskinesia? Answer, developmental abnormalities include citus inverses and hearing loss due to dysfunction functional eustachian tube cilia. Question, what are some of the recurrent infections associated with primary ciliary dyskinesia? Answer, recurrent infections include sinusitis, ear infections, and bronchitosis due to impaired ciliary clearance of debris and pathogens. Question, what is the impact of primary ciliary dyskinesia on fertility? Answer, infertility is an impact of primary ciliary dyskinesia. There is an increased risk of ectopic pregnancy due to dysfunctional fallopian tube cilia and a Modile spermatozoa. Question, what is the lab finding that is used as a screening test for primary ciliary dyskinesia? Answer, the lab finding is a decrease in nasal nitric oxide, which is used as a screening test for primary ciliary dyskinesia. Question, what are some common symptoms of primary ciliary dyskinesia? Answer, common symptoms of primary ciliary dyskinesia include recurrent infections such as sinusitis, ear infections, and bronchitosis, as well as developmental abnormalities such as citizen inverses and hearing loss. Infertility is also a common symptom of primary ciliary dyskinesia. Question, how is primary ciliary dyskinesia diagnosed? Answer, primary ciliary dyskinesia is typically diagnosed through a combination of clinical symptoms, imaging studies, and laboratory tests, and decrease in nasal nitric oxide levels is often used as a screening test, and ciliary motility analysis can confirm the diagnosis. Question, is there a cure for primary ciliary dyskinesia? Answer, currently, there is no cure for primary ciliary dyskinesia. Treatment is focused on managing symptoms symptoms and preventing complications. Antibiotics may be prescribed to treat recurrent infections, and surgical interventions may be necessary to correct certain developmental abnormalities. Question, how is primary ciliary dyskinesia inherited? Answer, primary ciliary dyskinesia is inherited in an autosomal recessive pattern, which means that an individual must inherit two copies of the gene associated with the condition, one from each parent, in order to develop the disorder. Question, is primary ciliary dyskinesia a rare disorder? Answer, yes, primary ciliary dyskinesia is considered a rare disorder with an estimated incidence of 1 in 15,000, 40,000 live births. Question, are there any specific genetic mutations that are associated with primary ciliary dyskinesia? Answer, yes, primary ciliary dyskinesia is caused by genetic mutations in genes that are involved in the formation and function of cilia, such as DNAI1, DNAH5, and DNAH11. Question, can primary ciliary dyskinesia be treated with gene therapy? Answer, currently, there is no cure for primary ciliary dyskinesia and gene therapy is still in the research phase. However, researchers are exploring the potential of gene therapy as a treatment option for primary ciliary dyskinesia in the future. Question, can primary ciliary dyskinesia be prevented? Answer, primary ciliary dyskinesia is inherited genetically, so it cannot be prevented. However, early diagnosis and treatment can help prevent complications and manage symptoms. Genetic counseling may be beneficial for individuals who have a family history of primary ciliary dyskinesia. Question, how does primary ciliary dyskinesia affect the respiratory system? Answer, in primary ciliary dyskinesia, the immodile cilia in the respiratory tract are unable to move mucus and debris effectively. This leads to a buildup of mucus in the lungs, which can increase the risk of recurrent infections such as bronchitosis and pneumonia. Question, are there any specific treatments for infertility associated with primary ciliary dyskinesia? Answer, yes, there are specific treatments for infertility associated with primary ciliary dyskinesia. These include assisted reproductive technologies such as in vitro fertilization and intracytoplasmic sperm injection, which can help couples with primary ciliary dyskinesia conceive. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, 
be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.